get a fire truck up here and start wetting that down up there. Get up there because it's coming toward. They haven't built any homes over there yet. Let's we get out now our car so we can go to the end of the street and see what they're doing. You wanna walk down there? We just walk to that point. Going up there. Yeah, is there a fire? Is there, are they are they doing anything? It's got to be squirting water over the back of the, the field up there.
What's that? Yeah. Yeah, they need to get that pumper down there. You're gonna run down there? I got my truck. Oh, okay. He's in the car. Oh. I'm gonna grab my hose. Acre Table Rock Fire was first reported to dispatch just before midnight. Two structures have been lost to the fire, but one was a home, the other a barn. The fire started at Table Rock and then moved to the Harris Ranch area of southeast Boise. Brandon Delman with the BLM says they're primarily focusing on two points right now. Um, we've had a number of wind switches, which is why you end up with two heads. Once it's, you know, it's heading south and then it starts heading north. Each time we get a thunder cell over the area, we're getting new winds. Hopefully no more thunder cells. Hopefully we get a little more moisture so we can take advantage of the cooler conditions before it heats up into the afternoon. Warm Springs Road remains closed in the area. Residents have access at the Star View or at the golf course, but you must have photo ID. Cause of the fire? Determined to be fireworks. Table Rock Fire also may have some implications on your plans to get outside and recreate today. Boise Fire Chief Dennis Doan explains. No hikers or bikers up here in the, in the foothills in the Table Rock or Paris Ranch area. Um, also, we're going to be getting some helicopters in the air. So the helicopters are going to be dipping into the river, so the floaters need to beware. 
A chief says some people dodged a bullet because they had a good deal of defensible space already cleared out around their home. Sunshine high today again in the upper 90s. Some She's the host of one of HLN's most popular shows. I, I find her hard to watch. Uh, we created an unparalleled platform that gave uh, crime victims a voice and succeeded in finding missing people. And, but she, she always uh, kind of takes the attitude that if you're accused of something, you're guilty. And, and, and parodies of her have been in oh, yeah. hundreds of movies yeah. at the same time. Uh, Damon has written in to say, uh, if you can't get on a plane, you shouldn't be able to buy a gun, the bizarre and popular mantra goes. I wonder when we'll start extending this to other disconnected things. If you can't drive a car, you shouldn't be able to practice religion. If you can't procure a liquor license, you shouldn't be able to assemble peacefully, etc. See how this works? Take something we don't have a constitutional right to do, a planes, for instance, and tie it to something we do have a constitutional right to do, uh, say guns, and without probable cause, due process, or the right of redress. They've erased a right by conflating it with a privilege. You've allowed the government to prevent you from exercising a right with the same ease it can prevent you from exercising a privilege. And once you've done this, the process will not stop until there is no discernible legal distinction between a right and a privilege. Wow. Makes uh, some points, though. I'm and glad it, I'm not on that It's list. easy to find the list of rights because, as you said, it's right there in the Constitution. Yep. On Bones Friday tomorrow, something to think about with Mike Rogers up next, brought to you by Boise Church of Christ, for church's family. Check them out on the World Wide Web at boisechurch.org. Now, something to think about with Mike. Congress passes an emergency spending bill to fight the Zika virus. There has been a stalemate with the latest block coming from Senate Democrats stopping a GOP plan because it added non-Zika provisions they don't like, including cuts to Planned Parenthood. Still, the Democrats are pushing. Unless the Republicans become sensible, the Zika virus will have no, no work done at NIH, Centers for Disease Control. There is no money left. Istanbul's airport has now fully reopened after Tuesday's terror attack that killed 42 people. And now Brooke Baldwin reports from Istanbul on arrests. In 16 different addresses, in total, 13 different people have been detained, including three foreign nationals. All of this, they are telling us, in connection to the triple suicide attack here at the Istanbul airport. One American now listed among the injured. I'm Michael Toscano. Well, there's an all-clear at Joint Base Andrews, home of Air Force One outside Washington, D.C., a lockdown, the result of a mistake, as we hear from Evan Perez. There was this planned drill today, and it appears that someone thought they saw something and called emergency services, and so obviously they were treating this with an abundance of caution. A lockdown forcing Vice President Joe Biden to delay a flight this morning. More severe thunderstorms will hit parts of the Plain States. Here's meteorologist Pedram Jabahari. Over the next 24 hours, similar spots, similar region for thunderstorm activity. Damaging winds again and hail going to be a concern really from Nebraska all the way out there towards the Great Lake. The storms producing damaging wind gusts, large hail and flash flooding. Tornadoes also possible. There were two reports of tornadoes in Iowa last night. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson says he believes the government will meet its goal of resettling 10,000 Syrian refugees this year, that approximately 5,000 refugees have already been approved for settlement. Wall Street rebounding today. The Dow is up 111 points. I'm Michael Toscano. The thought of my sons growing up without me inspired me to quit smoking. I talked to my doctors, and then I threw away all my cigarettes, ashtrays, and lighters. I started exercising instead of smoking. Staying away from alcohol when I was first quitting was key. I kept on trying. Learn something each time. Do whatever it takes. We did it. So can you. You can quit. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW for help getting free medication. It's available and eligible. That's 1-800-QUIT-NOW. A message from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Not available in all states. Whoa, what do you have there? It's a Reese and Irvy's frozen yogurt. We just had our robot make one. A robot made your frozen yogurt? Yes, the world's first fully interactive robot vending machine that serves nine flavors of delicious yogurt with six amazing toppings. And it's available for an exclusive franchise opportunity. How do I get my own Reese and Irvy's robot? It's easy, but you better act now. Locations and machines are going fast. Just go to FroYoFranchising.com. That's FroYoFranchising.com. Check it out now, FroYoFranchising.com. It's three minutes past the hour. Here's Ron O'Brien on 670 KBOI. 
Now, crews continue to contend that battling at the 1,470-acre Table Rock fire it was first reported to dispatch just before midnight. Two structures have been lost to the fire, but one was a home, the other a barn. The fire started at Table Rock and then moved to the Harris Ranch area of southeast Boise. Brandon Delman with the BLM says they're primarily focusing on two points right now. Um, we've had a number of wind switches, which is why you end up with two heads. Once it's, you know, it's heading south and then it starts heading north. Each time we get a thunder cell over the area, we're getting new winds. Mm -hmm. Hopefully no more thunder cells. Hopefully we get a little more moisture so we can take advantage of the cooler conditions before it heats up into the afternoon. Warm Springs Road remains closed in the area. Residents have access at the Star View or at the golf course, but you must have photo ID. Cause of the fire? Determined to be fireworks. Table Rock Fire also may have some implications on your plans to get outside and recreate today. Boise Fire Chief Dennis Doan explains. No hikers or bikers up here in the, in the foothills in the Table Rock or Paris Ranch area. Um, also, we're going to be getting some helicopters in the air. So the helicopters are going to be dipping into the river, so the floaters need to beware. The chief says some people dodged a bullet because they had a good deal of defensible space already cleared out around their home. Sunshine high today again in the upper 90s. Some BOI. A wildfire reported before midnight near Table Rock has scorched more than 2,500 acres and is now 60% contained. 
Boise Fire officials say it destroyed two structures, including a home. Warm Springs Avenue remains closed. That fire was caused by fireworks. Mampa police are still looking for a man.